All right. I have created already the project and the RTL and test bench course have been added over here. Now let me start the simulation process. I have selected the mode, the view mode to be simulation mode now. And the TB is the topmost module which is already selected. And I'll expand this and I'll click on simulate behavioral model. Let's run it. Now you can see here the elaboration phase has been completed and you can see the TB topmost module and this is the duty instance which has been created and the below you can see the batch mode output, the transcript mode output and we have the waveform output as well. So I'm going to float this and let's check the output in the waveform editor. Please adjust the setting and zoom out it properly. Now once the setting has been done, let's rearrange the signals. So first I will take the clock signal, I'll keep it at the top. You can drag and drop it followed by the reset signal. So I've arranged the clock reset. You can take the write enable signal as well. Okay, now let's check the write operation. So at this negative of clock, write enable is high. So at this passage, we're expecting a write to happen. So for that, I need to check what is the uh, destination address. So in this case, it is five. And what is the data? Let's check that. So I'll change the radix to unsigned. Okay, so the data is 30. That means at this location 5, 30 should be written at this passage of the clock. So to know whether the writing has happened properly or not, I'm going to add the array as well. So this is the array which you can see here, the rec file which you can get from the object window. You select this, right click and add it to the web editor. Okay, so now it should be added to the web window. Let's check the same. Okay, you can see the array has been added here. So let's restart and rerun the simulation. So I'll click on relaunch. Now after we have clicked on relaunch, it will restart the simulation. And now we can check the operation. So at this passage of clock, we're expecting location five to be written with 30. So let's check that. Passage of clock, you can see at location number five. Okay, so let's go down. At the location number 5, let's see what data has been written. I'm changing the radius to unsigned. You can see 30 has been written, okay? So at this passage of clock, you can see the data 30 has been written into location number 5. So that confirms that the right operation has happened successfully. Okay? Now coming to read, if you look at, for that, I will check for the forward enable signal, right? So we'll go back to the object window to make sure the duty has been selected. So we will add the forward output enable also to the waveform window. Right click and add it. This one also right click and add it. Now you can go back and you can relaunch it again. So 
so you can see here when forward output enable is high now let's see the read operation so for the read operation rs1 out and rs2 out will be updated so right now if you look at the forward output enable is zero so that the rs1 out and rs2 out will be having the data from the memory itself so at this passage of clock you can see the 30 data was written to the array similarly in this passage of clock data 50 got stored into the array at location number 6 right and now uh, rs1 rs2 out depends on forward output enable since it is 0 so what happens if you look at the address if you see the uh, since rs1 address is 0 rs2 address is also 0 so it is reading 0 but at this point you see the address has been changed to 5 and 6 hence it is reading the data as 50 and 30 respectively so this is how the read operation has been completed and that's how you confirm that it is working fine all right now let's see the synthesis process now for synthesis we'll go back to the project navigator and select the view to implementation mode now you can see here it only displays the design top that is the rtl the user file rtl so we select that and once we select that you can see the synthesize option comes here we will run the synthesis process we'll right click and click on run we will right click and click on run now the process has started let's wait for it to complete You can see here the process has been completed successfully and we can click on the view rtl schematic select ok ok now you can see the black box double click on it and here you can see the schematic has been created you can adjust the same with the magnifiers And you can float the same and check the complete schematic. So this is the schematic view. You can see the D flip flops. It will come around 32 because there are 32 registers, right? So this is how you can confirm that your design synthesis has been completed successfully. Okay. So you can still magnify it and you can check the blocks properly. So you can see here the primitive FDC has been inferred here, okay? This is the D flip flop with asynchronous preset. So that's all about the synthesis process regarding integer file. I'm sure you're clear with the flow and how to do the synthesis and the simulation on this particular module. Thank you so much.